have a look at some have a look at some fields. This is my view for the time being until I get rescued. Hello! <laughs> Oh dear me, eh? Honestly, sometimes I wonder why I actually bother. I really do. Yes, currently I am stuck on the uh, M6 and uh, we are broken down, unfortunately. Yeah. My uh, front tyre decided to uh, go flat. Did it gracefully though, I oh, will give it that, because I'm, I'm going down the, well, going up the motorway, because I'm going northbound on the M6. I'm going up the motorway, and I'm thinking to myself, this steering feels weird. I'm having to really, I'm holding it to the uh, to the right as it's trying to pull me to the, what the fuck is going on here? And it still hasn't clicked yet. I'm still going, I'm thinking, this is weird, this is. Are you feeling all right, are you? My lovely truck, being as I've only just got you back after it being down thingamajig, being serviced for the last fucking five days. And, um, yeah, that's, I did say that. It was down Bridge End and it went for a service and they had it from Wednesday and it came back last night. So, yeah. And, uh, when I've done all my, my checks, and because I, I do my checks twice. Right, this is what I do. I'll give you a quick rundown. So I go and get my keys, I jump in the truck, I pull the truck around to my car so I can get my crap in, and then I put as I'm before I've got my stuff in the car in the truck, I'll then put my card in, right? So I put my card in, right? So now I'm in the truck. I'm putting all my crap in the truck, getting all my crap sorted in the truck, and then I drop the lift axle to the floor and then raise the suspension up in the air. That just makes it easier so I can check the tyres and the wheels and all the light. Everything just it makes life a lot easier. So then I go around and have a good old squint at all the crap that I'm supposed to squint at. Right? It's not difficult. So I'm checking to make sure that there's no uh, apparent rust uh, drip patterns on the uh, drive uh, wheels, so that on the nuts. Because you can get this little slight, um, like rusty drips that will appear if they are becoming loose. But none of that's fine. All the wheel wheel nut markers are all in line. There's not a problem. The tread on the tyres is mwah, wonderful. There's, there's no bald tyres. All the lights work. It's fucking brilliant. I've got everything it should be. I had to change the. Um, the electrical series, the black one, because that was just looking tatty and I didn't like it, so I just changed it. And I can't wait for when John turns up because I've been, I had a mess in his, uh, I was <laughs> making a mess in his what's it, moving things about in the in the canteen. <laughs> so when he when he turns up, he's going to go, a few been in there. <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. Anywho, um, so that's just the unit, right? So once I've done that, and I'm happy with that, and I've got all my shit and air sorted out, so then I go and find the trailer, right? So then I hook up the trailer, right? When I've hooked up the trailer and got that sort of connected and done and the legs are wound up and what have you, right? I pull that out, right? So then I go and walk around the vehicle again for a second time, because now it's different. Because the first time it was just a solo unit, but now it's not. Now it has a trailer attached to it. So then I walk around it again and have another good loud look to make sure that everything's okay with the trailer and have another quick squint around the truck. Nothing was afoot. Everything was fine. But for some unknown reason, the front fucking near side tire has just gone. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's a weird experience, mind you. <laughs> yeah. Be a bit noisy out here, though. Yeah. It just seemed to do I mean look at the, look at the size of the tread on that thing there, it's like the Grand Canyon. It's fucking absolutely unreal. But you know, yeah, so yeah, it's all then. But uh Yeah, this is the point. That there, right? 
like that. Well, that there was my bodge. I put all that on there, right, to reattach it because all this had broken off. And it went down for service and they've replaced that bolt because that one must have come out. And they've replaced that uh, cable tie because that broke. <laughs> oh man. But they've left it as it was. That's, that's still there, man. Come off the bead. Oh no. Fuck. Yeah. Can we see any uh, any weird weird creatures out there? Anything? What do they call them? Crippids, whatever the fuck they are, these monsters are supposed to be about. Around the uh, the countryside, alien like looking creatures. Uh, any ghosties? Uh, oh well, I don't know. Cool though. Right, can I get back up in the fucking cabin as I've got the phone in one and I mean knackered shoulder in the other? Yes, you will be, you will be right. Ah, get up the dimming down there. That's like a, must be a sh some sort of gun shooting thing, I suppose. I don't know. But I, I thought to myself, been as I'm sat here, right, doing nothing, and, uh, well, why not? I might as well share with you a lot, I haven't been on here for a while, have I, so. Yeah, there you go, that's my uh, little uh, escapade for the day. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to tell you. And I was doing so well. I'd got in the yard. I was in at bed. What time did I get in the yard? It was about 20 past five this morning I was in. Because I knew that my truck was in. So I went and sorted that out, like I said, and then found up for what I was going to do to pick up the trailer to get in there anyway. And it was going lovely. Everything was fucking awesome. And now this shit, for no apparent reason. Fuck. Oh well. You have a wonderful day, even though the weather's miserable, but you got to do what you do with it, you? you know, you just got to make do with it. Because it's, it's the UK. I mean, it rains fucking, what, 285 times, you know, days a year, so, yeah. Well, I'm going, and hopefully our lad John will be here to rescue me pretty soon. Bye.